Well, we're going to turn now to those new revelations in the 1996 murder of a child beauty queen, Jean Benet Ramsey. It's still not known who killed the six year old little girl found dead in the basement of her Colorado home, but previously sealed court documents could shed new light on the case. ABC's Clayton Sandell has a story from Boulder. Good morning, Clayton. Hey, good morning, Bianna. This is the house where John Benet's parents always maintained a killer snuck in through an unlocked basement window. The family's gone from here now, but this morning, big questions about the case are still very much alive. John Benet Ramsey. This morning, a pivotal milestone in the nearly two decade old John Benet Ramsey mystery is no longer secret. A grand jury's 1999 criminal indictment against her parents, now public after local reporter Charlie Brennan sued to have it released. I felt it was very important. I still feel it's very important that that secrecy be removed and that the people now can look and see what happened and make decisions for themselves whether they believe it was right or wrong. The documents reveal a grand jury voted to indict John and Patsy Ramsey for child abuse resulting in death and being accessories to a crime. But in an unusual move, the DA back then decided not to prosecute. We do not have sufficient evidence to warrant the filing of charges against anyone who has been investigated at this time. John Bonet was found beaten and strangled the day after Christmas 1996. John Bonet Ramsey. Beauty pageant videos of a very grown up looking six year old helped create a nationwide obsession with the case. Her parents, under suspicion from the start, blamed an unknown intruder. Mrs. Ramsey, did you kill your daughter? No, I did not kill my daughter. Patsy Ramsey died of cancer two years before. A new district attorney said DNA evidence cleared the family as suspects. The Ramseys are innocent. 1999 information is interesting, but it is at best an historical footnote. It does not advance the cause of finding the killer of this child. Now this morning, Boulder police insist this is still an open case, but it's gone cold. And 17 years later, investigators say John Benet's killer may never face justice. Dan? 17 years later. Clayton, thank you. For more on this story, let's bring in attorney and former Miami-Dade County Judge Ada Pozo. Good morning, Ada. Good, Good morning. to have you. I should say, Your Honor. Um, let's go over again this decision by the prosecutor not to uh, file charges. How unusual is this, and what do you think was going through his mind? It's very unusual. Now, keep in mind, the prosecutor is the one who brings this before the grand jury. So he brings it before the grand jury. The grand jury votes to indict on two counts and then says, no, there's not enough. And this doesn't happen very often. We have to keep in mind what the grand jury is looking for is probable cause, not proof beyond a reasonable doubt, which is what that prosecutor needs to have in order to actually obtain a conviction in the case. And he uh, clearly did not feel he could do that. Now, you have keyed in uh, in these documents on one detail that the parents were also indicted as accessories. What does that tell you specifically? Well, it's very interesting when we look at this indictment that the parents apparently not only were they charged or the grand jury thought there was enough for, to be charged with the child abuse resulting in death, but also that they were somehow trying to cover something up, which is basically what that second count was. It's basically an obstruction of justice that there was somebody else out there and they were attempting to cover up who that somebody else is. We don't know and possibly will never know. So it's, po it's clear that the grand jury thought possibly there was somebody outside of the parents involved in this crime. Absolutely, and that the Ramseys were somehow attempting to cover it up. And finally, this is a cold case, as Clayton said, 17 years old now. Can this discussion that we're having right now and the fact that these documents have been, uh, have been released, can this in any way help generate new leads, you think? Well, obviously the information that we have is not going to really help in the investigation, but how it is going to help is that we're talking about it. We're sitting here talking about it today, and I think it brings it back on the forefront. It brings back this little girl that there's never been justice for her and that they, her killer is still walking around somewhere. The killer's still out there walking around somehow. Ada, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yana, back over to you. This little girl would be 23 years old today mm -hmm. if she were still alive. Ida, thank you so much for coming in.